Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Hannah and I'm the mom with muscle. And in today's video, we are doing a vintage home decor haul. So if this is something you are interested in watching, just keep on watching. But if you haven't already though, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You know to hit that bell button for every time I upload a video. And if you're not already following me on Instagram, I would love to have you over at mom with muscle. Without further ado, let's get into this video. So I have not done a vintage home decor haul on my channel since last year, and I have slowly accumulated a few really beautiful items that I wanted to discuss in today's video. Some of these items were purchased here in San Diego, and some items were actually purchased when I went to Round Top, Texas, for the antique show. So let's get into it. If I can link similar options, they will be down in the description box. I'm gonna get through this very quick, very short, very simple, but let's get into it. So the first two items I'm going to discuss are the actual items that I purchased when I went to Round Top, Texas. Keep in mind that I could only buy so many items because we had flown there, so it had to fit in my suitcase. So I got this, beautiful. It's considered a coaster, but I use it for candle styling. I will style my candles on top of these kind of like a riser, but isn't that beautiful? It's kind of in like this ornate pattern. It's black, it's aged, it's distressed. It's very unique in my opinion. And I love, I love just the pattern of it. And it is, I don't know if it's a, if it's a concrete or what the material is, but it's very unique and it's very beautiful and I absolutely love it. So this was the first little item that I got when I was in Texas. Now the second item I got when I was in Round Top is this beautiful marble bowl. It is in a eight inch diameter and I love the color of it. It's very neutral within the grays. The veining in the marble is very neutral. I love using marble bowls, bowls in general, to be honest, for any style. You could use this to house a candle in. You could do a stacking moment that I do a lot here on my channel, but I just love it. You can't go wrong with adding like luxe material like marble. And it was only priced at $29. I still have the price on that. And so this was from one of the, one of my most favorite shops when I was there. I don't remember the name. I'll link it here below, but that was the second item that I got when I was in Round Top. Now all the next items I'm gonna go over are all from a antique shop here in San Diego. That's where I get a lot of my vintage items. So we're gonna start with this beautiful cutting board. I did feature this in my most recent kitchen kind of clean with me. Look at how big it is. It is a massive cutting board. I love it because it is worn. You can see that it's been heavily used which is really really cool just adds so much character and so much personality to a kitchen and this is a cutting board that i use solely for decor i don't use this just because i don't know where this has been so from a sanitary kind of standpoint i use this just for a layering cutting board on my backsplash but i love the warmth that it pulls into my kitchen i love that it is not perfect and it tells a story, which is really cool. And that's one thing that I love with all kind of vintage and antique items is that they tell a story and they've been places, they're used and just weathered. And yeah, I love it. So that was the next item that I got. All right, the next item is, I actually got two of these, is this Turkish olive pot. I love it because it does have a kind of terracotta bottom with a glazed green top. And I will insert um, a video of the other one that I have, which is a little bit more green. So one thing cool with these Turkish pots when I did go to the vintage shop is they were all so very different. Some of them had one handle, some of them had more green than the other, more terracotta, vice versa. It looks like it's been handmade, it's dripping. There's just so much texture, character. I love the contrast between the glazed portion of this pot and then the matte finish of the terracotta. So again, if you're also wanting to just like add color, like pops of color in your home, I think something like this of just popping in a hint of green can really just kind of elevate your space. It's just a very subtle way to adding color without it kind of overpowering your decor. So that was another really beautiful find that I recently picked up. The next little pot that I got is this another little Turkish pot. This one only has a single handle on it, but again, you can tell it has just distressing. It's got texture. It's got chips. So beautiful. I love this one just because it is white. It resembles kind of the one behind me, but it's very neutral. So I actually have this paired currently in my laundry room with some foliage in it. And it's a really good little size. That was kind of the next little vintage pot that I got. And kind of like the Turkish olive pot we just discussed. When I was picking these out, they were all very different. Some of them had more predominant dark brown, whereas this one's a little bit more predominant within the white. And it's just, it's beautiful. So that is the next item that I purchased. All right, so the next item is gonna be a hair bit out of frame because it is rather large and it is this amazing vintage stool that I picked up. Again, it's really big, so you can tell 
compared to me, very big item. I'm gonna show you guys the top of this. It's been in the elements, it's seen its day, it's definitely got a story to tell. And I love this for styling. This could be used as a little side table next to a chair. This could be used, which is really popular right now, in like a bathroom with some kind of bathroom essentials. I don't know, I just really love that because it brings in some texture, it brings in some warmth. And again, with all these vintage items that I'm talking about, I love that they tell a story. Like who knows how old this thing is and it's just so cool to me. And I'm, I'm really enjoying bringing in vintage items, but then really mixing it with like really modern type pieces. So I have my distress vessel behind me, but then I've paired it with a beautiful marble book stand. So I love just getting creative and seeing what works when it comes to really old and used vintage items to really new and modern type items and marrying them together. So don't be afraid to mix and match things. Experiment, have fun with it. There's no right or wrong way and I just love it. So that stool is definitely one of my favorite purchases of this haul. All right, you guys know me and my dishes. I love my dishes. So this is, I actually picked this guy up two days ago. Love this. The shape is really what sold me. It's, I don't know what it's considered. It's obviously a dish of some sort. It's rather shallow. So I don't know if they use this as like a mortar, like a marble mortar, but just love that shape. It's so unique. It's so just worn, used, texture. I love the size of it. You could sell this alone on a coffee table or you could put some of your remotes in it. Like it's such a universal dish. It's very neutral in color. It's solid marble or solid stone, whatever this is made out of, but absolutely love this. So beautiful, so good. And this guy was made in India. So that is the next item on this haul. All right, so the next item I'm going to be doing some kind of voiceovers. This is a beautiful skinny bench. These are very popular. We are seeing these a lot in like Architectural Digest, Amber Interiors, Studio McGee. They are just such a great little bench. And it kind of reminds me of the stool that we already talked about where it's kind of the same type vibe. Uh, it's kind of in this like tripod type structure. The wood is very worn, it's very used. It definitely tells a story. I love the length of these. These could be used at the end of a bed. They could be used at the end of a hallway. You could use these again in a bathroom if you want to style some beautiful towels on. I'm kind of messing with this. I recently did just buy this when I got that stone mortar, but I think this is such a great piece to add. I love this little bench for styling purposes. So that's the next item on my list. All right, and the very last item of this entire vintage haul is my favorite out of this entire haul, and it is a marble chapati, if I'm pronouncing that right. It is chef's kiss. It is so beautiful. You guys have probably seen some of these um, on Instagram and whatnot. It is massive, so I'm gonna be out of the frame a little bit, and it is very solid marble, so I'm definitely gonna have to put this down after a couple minutes, but ugh, okay. So here it is, it's so big. So this is a marble chapati. You can tell it's got the handle on there. It is very shallow in diameter. This is the largest size they make. So I actually got this for my coffee table upstairs. It's a 60 by 60. It's a huge coffee table. So when it comes to styling, I need something with some with some weight, with some size behind it. Otherwise, if I was to put something like this on a 60 inch coffee table, it would just be swallowed up so i got this for the coffee table upstairs but i've actually on my kitchen counter and i absolutely love how it is because i actually get to enjoy it a little bit more than it being upstairs but isn't it stunning you guys i just love the shape it's so beautiful and it is solid i am sweating holding this for you guys but this does come in two sizes it comes in a large and it comes in a smaller one this is from restoration hardware i found a company that sold them then they sold out i have tried looking on etsy they are upwards of like 500 dollars. so this was from restoration hardware and i again there's there's no words for this i just love the shape i love the texture i love the color it's neutral it's just beautiful hands down one of my favorite finds of this entire haul. So that is the last item on this list. All right, you guys, and that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this vintage haul. Again, I have not done a haul here on my channel for vintage items. And like I said, I have just accumulated over the last, I would say five or six months. And I'm like, it's time to bring a haul to my channel. And I hope you guys enjoy vintage items as much as I do. Get creative, have fun. There are so many beautiful pieces out there and I'm glad I was able to share mine with you. So until next time, I love you so much and we'll see you then. Peace. Thank mm -hmm. you.